I am aboard a battery electric ship operating as a ferry between Denmark and Sweden and it is not a newly launched one. On the contrary, it was built in 1991 as a diesel electric ship and was retrofitted only in 2018 with batteries and started working here as a ferry. So now it has five years in operation, proving that its fascinating parameters have actually worked in real life. Taiho Brahe is the name of a ship. It has 111 meters in length and it can accommodate 1,250 passengers and 240 cars aboard. So it is big and when it was launched in operation in 2018, it was the largest battery electric ship in the world. Each day it does about 45 crossings between Helingor in Denmark and Helingborg in Sweden sailing about 4 kilometers on each cross. To save time and energy, the ferry is bidirectional, so it can sail both ways without the need to turn around on the shore. It has four thrusters with 1.5 megawatt of power each, so 6 megawatt of power in total, or a bit more than 8,000 horsepower in propulsion. And it charges automatically with a robotic arm on the shore, for about 9 minutes in Sweden and only 5 minutes in Denmark. When it was launched in 2018, it had four lithium-ion batteries, totaling 4.1 megawatt hour and weighing about 57 tons. On each crossing, this ship consumes about 900 kilowatt hour of electricity, and because it charges on each shore, its batteries are usually kept at a level of charge between 45 and 65 percent. And by the way, these batteries already operated on 800 volts technology five years ago. Initial batteries were supposed to last 5 years with about 17,000 crossings per year and the same number of small sessions of fast charge. After 4 years, the batteries of Taiho Brahe were replaced with newer ones with a longer lifespan with up to 10 years and a higher energy density that allowed them to grow in capacity from 4.1 megawatt hour to 6.4 megawatt hour. So it is ready now to operate for the next 10 years, doing another 170,000 crossings between Denmark and Sweden. It is basically a real-world proof that better electric ships can work and serve well, especially on such short routes, even in such intense schedule where they have only minutes to charge on each shore. Thank you.